What's up, everyone? Chris with B minus demos here, and today we're taking a look at the cutest little baby petals you've ever seen. It's so cute. It's you with your knobs. It's like a cute. Sorry, we're, we're gonna look at little petals today. Sometimes I do things that even embarrass me, and what I did at the beginning was one of them. I don't know why I did that. Maybe somebody thought it was funny. Hey, if you're new here, I genuinely appreciate you stopping by. I promise I don't do weird stuff like that every week. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. You guys know it means the world to me. I genuinely appreciate it. You're awesome. If you haven't already, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. Subscribe, like, uh, turn on the notification bell, and leave me a comment before I get started. Just a real quick thing. If you hear a lot of like screaming and, and borderline battle noises, my daughter is in the next room uh, kicking ass at Fortnite, and she really gets into it. The cost of admission to getting into playing guitar can be really high sometimes. And especially if you're looking on YouTube and you're looking up good gear, because a lot of YouTubers are lent this stuff or given this stuff by the company, the, the cost of what it would be for the rest of us is sometimes a little lost. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a dig on anybody who gets stuff sent to them. That has to happen. That's the way it works. So I'm perfectly fine with that. But I want to remind people that there are some really good budget options out there. Now, whether you are new to guitar or you're just new to effects and you're wanting to try something out that you've never tried before, I think that there are a lot of really good options out there. And... I think the brand Flamma really, really is a top choice for me. We're going to look at several different pedals, but I've got three Flamma pedals here just to give an example. We've got a reverb here. This is a black dist, black distortion uh, based off of a rat, which you guys know I love. And then this is a pretty cool analog chorus um, that to me is actually um, pretty good. Now, whether it's these three or the ones sitting on the desk behind me, just about all of these were less than $30, with a few exceptions. I know each of these I ordered brand new off of Amazon for less than $30 a piece. Then we have things like this Sonic Cake, Sonic Ambience, Reverb, and Delay, which is a pretty decent pedal that I got for $20 from Guitar Center's use site. Uh, Black Rat, of course, is another uh, rat clone. This one's by Mosky. Yeah, this one's by Mosky. Uh, I actually picked this one up for $16 plus like four or five bucks shipping. Uh, and then you have something like this Electro Harmonics tuner, which is the tuner that uh, was on my board when I had my board together. Then you have something like this, which is an IR loader from Sonic Cake, the Sonic IR. You have volume control. You can load up to 11 different IRs on it. Uh, in and out. You've got your power up here and you've even got uh, XLR out. The point of this video isn't necessarily to give a full demo of any of these pedals. Instead, it's to kind of show that like for less than $100 or less than $150 for sure, you can put together a pretty decent, very workable board that you can take with you. Maybe it's your travel board. Maybe it's your practice board that you leave at practice space and, you know, or, or maybe vice versa. Maybe your good stuff is at your practice space and you leave this one. Uh, at home just to kind of run through sounds when you're feeling inspired. Or, like I said in the beginning, maybe you're new to playing guitar. Maybe when you look at the cost of, you know, certain reverbs or delays that are two, three, four hundred dollars $400, or even a lot of rat pedals, which can be as much as $200, $250, and other types of distortions and overdrive, you're like, I don't know enough about this stuff to commit to that kind of price tag. Regardless of what your reasoning is, I think all of these are pretty good options. We're going to go through some sounds here. I just hooked up four of these. Like I said, this isn't necessarily a full demo on any of these pedals. It's just an example of how, for a little bit of money, relatively speaking, you can get what you need to get by. On top of the budget pedals, I'm also going to use Tonocracy, which is free, and I'm using Reaper, which is what I always use. But I've never really talked about how nice Reaper is for a relatively small amount of money. You can download it for free and try it for like 60 days, I think. And then I even 
asked for an extension and got like a 60 day extension on top of that. Um, and then, or maybe it's 45 days, something like that. But then I think if you go to buy it, the cost is $60. If you decide not to buy it, from what I understand, you can continue to use it. You just don't get any future updates. So if you just need something to get you going, Reaper is a perfect choice. So we're going to go through these sounds. I'm going to set it up in two ways. I'm going to go through kind of your traditional signal chain where you've got drive, modulation, delay, and uh, reverb. And then we're going to mix things up a little bit to give some more interesting textures and uh, kind of play with it a little more and really have some fun. I'm going to use my 99 Telecaster in the middle position with the volume rolled off slightly in the neck. And then in Tonocracy, I'm using their JM45, which I think is their kind of take on a like a Marshall JTM. Uh, with a 212 cap. Let's get into some of these sounds.
right, guys. Hey, that was it for this week. Um, I like those sounds. Uh, and I think for pedals that every one of them costs less than $30, I just don't know that you can do much better than that. Like I said in the beginning, playing guitar can get really expensive, and it can get really expensive really fast. But there are a lot of things out there now, things that are available to new guitar players now that weren't around 20 and 25 years ago when some of us started playing. So whether it's, you know, really good quality, inexpensive pedals, or it's a free plug-in like Tonocracy, or a mostly free DAW like Reaper, there are a lot of options out there. I love to support small builders. I love to support hand-built things. Um, and a lot of times those are expensive, and I've never played one where I was like, it's not worth this price. But I also remember what it was like when $50 for a distortion pedal blew my mind. I didn't understand how it could cost so much. So I want people to know there are options out there. Above anything, guitar playing is supposed to be fun. And I think the more we can kind of break down that barrier of the cost of entry, the more people can start playing guitar, can start playing bass, they, they can have fun. Listen, I hope everyone has an amazing week. I'll see you guys next